Good morning guys, what's going on? So out in the garage per usual, uh, it's actually a very nice day, a little bit muggy, and my boy Cody's here already here this morning, hanging out, setting up his camera. Uh, we're actually gonna go shoot his WRXO a little bit here. We're gonna head over to the other side where it's got like a, what would you call it, Cody? Like a dirty, rustic looking area? I mean, it would just make the car pop. I mean, that's yeah, just, it's I mean, nasty. it's nasty. Nasty, dirty construction. Exactly, so the car really stand out, it's just really pretty, I want to call it like a frost white. Uh, so to make the car really pop. So we're going to get some more cinematic videos. Cody does all that cool cinematic stuff. I'll link all his stuff down below. Go check out his channel. Cody, what's your name? Uh, is it still Cody Reed? It's we're working. We're, we're working. Before this video, before this post, we're going to come up with a new name because you can't search his name. You can't find his stuff. He makes the coolest videos, yet you can't find any of his stuff because there's like 20 million Cody Reeds out there. There's so pro baseball player yeah pro there's a pro baseball player so that kills us anytime anyone looks him up it goes right to a pro baseball player so we got to really work on that here too so we'll get you guys a new name to go to and i'll link it down below so you just can click it and go straight to his channel so i got cody out here right now look he's getting this look at this look at this trying to get all fancy and stuff i ain't got all the cool stuff like cody reed does so guys this is definitely the stuff i don't do i don't do well with this kind of stuff at all the time the patience with all this he's in all this cinematic stuff and like he's gonna make a really cool montage of all this he's got his drone he's gonna put up too i'm actually gonna head over back to the house here because it's literally right across the road from where i live it's really funny because they're finishing building these houses here uh we actually have a couple more houses down here they're building right across from me now sadly got one there going kind of sucks as i kind of liked not having anyone next to me eh. But it, I guess it is what it is. And it's raining, by the way, right now. Uh, so if there's any water on the lens, I apologize. But and it's starting to rain even more. Lucky me. Let's go to the gas station. Got to have a Red Bull. Look at that. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Just recording my shifter, bro. <laughs> this is the kind of see. This is the kind of shit where I laugh because so many people have no idea the dumb shit you like look or how you look when you're doing this because you look like an idiot right that's what everybody tells me dude we look so stupid when we do it but then people watch the video oh that's so cool well that's the, how you get that cool shot or that neat thing you know it's like you vlogging at mcdonald's i mean dude yeah I right vlog at McDonald's, bro. bro it's so stupid i didn't get to vlog at mcdonald's i didn't get to tell you that did i uh, i, I took the camera in i'm like nah bro i can't do it like I can't go full douchebag. You didn't, you didn't ball up enough. Though. I can't ball up. I'm not. I'm not baller enough yet to go full douchebag. I've gotten pretty far douchebag, but I'm not full douchebag yet. Hey Corey. Hello. Who the man flops? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> now that my cousin Corey's here, we're going to go ahead and install these lights, which Corey has, what, just regular halogen bulbs and regular yellow bulbs right now. So we're going to go ahead and throw these in. 9,005 are the high beams, right, or the low beams? High beams. These are high beams. 9,006 are the low beams. Again, aux beam, thank you very much for hooking us up. I appreciate it, guys. Um, they were kind enough to send these to me uh, to try out on my cousin's truck here. And this is a, give a little rundown on the truck, Corey. What is this? I mean, I know it's a Duramax, but what year is this? 03, LB7, Duramax, um, EFI live tune, intake, exhaust, nothing special. Daily driver. It's a daily driver, and he is a, he's hard on her. It's actually really nice. It's all white, black wheels. You guys see all that. Really, really like this truck. But let's go ahead and get this headlight out and go from there. All right, guys, so what you need to do first here is there's two tabs here and here. Corey's gonna go ahead and pull these out. They just click out. One, two. Now when you pull that out, the headlight immediately wants to pop out. So he's gonna slide it out here. Now, is this your high beam or your low beam? This would be the high. Okay, so we're gonna remove the high beam first here. There we go. And the other one's out now. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. Take this out. Here's your 9006. This is your low beam, right? Low beam, yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and twist this in here first and foremost, if he can get in there. So it looks like we're going to have to remove this bracket to get that off. So first off, we found our first little issue. It looks like the high beam is going to be super simple to do. So let's actually go ahead and grab that first. Grab one of the high beams here. There you go. It's just this easy, guys. Boom, twist in, done. Now, for the low beam, we're gonna have to take off these brackets and I'll show you guys what bolts need to be removed. So what we're gonna do here next is, guys, we got this headlight in. This is going to be the LED versus this is the halogen bulb. So go ahead, Corey, click them on. 
Now look how white that is versus the halogen over here. Now this is daylight obviously, but just looking here on camera dead on, that's crystal clear white and that's like barely seeing anything. This will light up the entire street versus barely see anything with this. So these are much better. Why don't you go ahead and kick on the high beams here? Yep. Look at the difference there versus high beams. Clear, yellow. Crystal white clear, yellow. Okay, so what we're doing next is we're gonna finish putting the rest of the headlights in. We got that one in. But what we didn't show you is what you have to do to get the bulbs out because the one high beam, was it the high beam or low beam? It was the low beam. To get that low beam out, you have to take some brackets off and I'm gonna tell you what tools you exactly need to get that bracket off. So we just found something out. The driver's side light on this, this plastic shroud here, you need to take off. To do so, you need a T20 Torx head and then a set of pliers. The way you do this is, there is, which one is it here, Corey? It's this one here, receives a Torx head, and you will loosen this up, and then there's two plastic clips down here on the bottom that will be twisted by, if you would stick it on, if you can see here, Corey's gonna twist it real quick. You just literally twist that, and you can hear it snap, and you're not breaking anything, and this would pop out. Um, you see how he can move it up now? Now, we're obviously not gonna take it all apart because it's not necessary. If you can see there, guys, pops up, down. Um, for the for some reason the driver's side needs it but the passenger side you don't need to take this out which actually is a good thing so it's less work for y'all to have to do uh makes this really easy so now we're just going to throw the lights in which Corey can just go ahead and grab this one here set it in should twist and lock yep good to go that's it and then obviously for the low beam here this is really easy it sits right on top so you, there's no like if ands or buts you just shove it right in Right, guys, next up, what you have to do is we're gonna have to plug these in. So, Corey, flip it around here. Do you have that upside down? Uh -huh. Yeah, we have it upside down real quick. So, take that one there, flip it there. Come on, shove. He's got her. Look at that. Done. Make sure it clips. There's one. Hard to do it one handed. Done. Now slide these back in just like the other side, clip them down, and we'll turn the lights on and show you guys how it looks. Now Corey's gonna go ahead and kick it on here and I'll show you guys how it looks with all of them on. Now that is way better. Isabella, what do you think? What do you think of the lights? No, you care about the game, huh? What are you watching? Marsha. <laughs> Marsha. This is much, much, much better, much cleaner looking. Um, click on the high beams too. There you go. I think it's because these boats weren't on, now they're both kicking on. That's how it should look. That will be bright as crap at night, especially back in, Corey lives off a back road, I would call it. Um, no street lights or anything really back there, so something like this will be coming really in handy. Now we have my cousin's truck all done. I hope that helped you guys out some. Um, I freaking really starting to love diesel trucks. Um, I'm a Chevy guy. If I would say I'm an American person, I would like Chevys, GMCs. Uh, since my family grew up with them, I like the quality of them. I will say this though, I would prefer to work on a Cummins because I'm so used to working on inline six. And on top of that inline six, it is so much easier to work on than those damn Isuzu motors that is in the uh, Chevys and GMCs. Um, the V8s are great, they're cool. Uh, but just like anything, they're just harder to work on versus a, a Cummins dude. Like everything's right there on the side, one or the other. Super, super easy to work on. Uh, but then the problem with that is you have Dodge Quality, which is probably the shittiest of the shit. And I don't know if any of you guys are Dodge fans. I'm sorry, guys. I think you even realize when you buy a Chrysler product, you know you're just buying subpar at the end of the day. There's a reason why for how many years they've had to file bankruptcy, their quality sucks. Even how Fiat bought them, I mean, it's still junk. I mean, every car you buy from them just doesn't last. That's me going on a how crappy Dodge is rant. But anyway, so his lights are all in now. He's super happy with them. Uh, he just shot me a text there and said he really likes them so far. Uh, he's going to try and get me some night footage of the car, show it how it looks. I shouldn't say car, truck. And uh, hopefully he really enjoys them. They last forever like they're supposed to. Another thing, guys, I want to remind you, I will be at World Cup Finals coming up here at the beginning of November. Please, please, please hit me up. Uh, I'm looking to meet as many people as possible at that event. 
Uh, it should be at the very beginning of November. I want to say it's like November 3rd through the 7th. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but I know it's at the very beginning of November. It's the last real big event of the year. Uh, I go every year and I always look forward to it. No, I will not be racing my car. It is not anywhere close to even being able to enter that event. But I will be attending. Um, I'll be hanging out with friends. I'll be down there. Um, I'll try to bring some merchandise with me if anyone would like to buy anything. Uh, but come. If you're there, if you see me, I'll be wearing my stuff. Please point me out. Grab me talk a little bit. I want to meet as many people as I possibly can when I'm at that event. Uh, it gives me a good opportunity to get to meet some of my car friends. Uh, I don't get to do that as much as I would like. I'd also like to set up a car event sometime soon. Uh, it's probably going to be in the 2018 now. Uh, and just get to meet all you guys, kind of work with someone else maybe and get like a collab going. I will also be at the YouTube call out at Cecil County. Um, I'm a little irritated with all that because I was going to race my car. Now it turns out that they're making it 100% private and you have to do this, that, or the other. So I can't race now. Um, my cousin Corey, who was just here, they actually own a moving company. I was actually going to take one of his 18 wheelers, use one of their giant trailers and bring the car down. I uh, have a couple friends bringing extra parts. I was going to try and make it a serious event, you know, race after race after race. Um, but it's just not going to happen. It is what it is. Um, Dirty Max Jack tried to help me out there, but it just looks like I'm not going to get anywhere with it. So I'll be at the event showing the car, not racing it. Maybe if they get some extra time, they said I might be able to take it. But at that point, if I drove it down, I really don't want to break it because now I don't have a trailer to bring it home with. So it sucks. I don't want to trail it down for no reason either. So I'm kind of like in limbo here. But guys, if you see me there, please hit me up. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Done another day for the garage. Going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday here. Going to try and relax a little bit. Had a good time hanging out with my cousin Corey. Um, glad I got the lips on these cars now. If you saw my last video, those are all good to go. Uh, I've got a crossbar coming from TCS Motorsports to put on. I got the Hux Racing um, installed to do for you guys of the mounts. Uh, a couple other little things. Still deciding on wheels that'll fit these cars. I fucking hate, and I shouldn't curse like that, but I freaking hate um, the wheel options for the MR2. Like, there's just not enough out there, and it drives me insane. Like, there's nothing that looks good. I mean, I really don't like the way the RPF1 looks. I just think for the front wheels, because you have to run an 8 plus 35 in the front, I hate that the spokes kick out. The rear doesn't look so bad. It's the front wheels look terrible. Um, and you can't run a really aggressive offset with these cars. The front wheel, there's just not a whole lot of room. So it is what it is, but I'll just deal with it for now. But thank you guys very much. I appreciate you all chiming in. If there's anything you need, hit me up down below on my social media pages. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!